Good morning, everyone. Are you ready for verse 3, a Facebook lover? Do you know this song? I make it up as I go along. That's another thing I, you might not have known. Here we go. Facebook lover, haven't heard from you in three days now. The last thing you posted on my page said C-I-A-O. A friend of mine said C-I-A-O is pronounced chow. So I looked it up and it said it means hello or goodbye. Oh wow. Do you mean hello or do you mean goodbye? I gotta know now. Facebook lover. Driving me insane. I might smash my laptop and get my life back again. <laughs> That's verse three of Facebook Lover. We're going to put all these verses together and play you the whole song uh, by Monday of next week. By the way, this is my coffee cup. This is me. This is Pop. Welcome to my world. I love you guys. My name is Ron. Welcome to Ron's World. It's September 22nd. I have a lot to talk about today, so I'm going to say it fast so I don't have you here for 10 minutes, okay? September 22nd. It's about 72 out. It's going up to 86. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous out there today. A lot of sunshine. Uh, on my page, I was talking about at night, if you look up in the sky, you can see the planet Jupiter right next to the moon. Tomorrow night on Thursday, we're going to have what they call a harvest moon. A gorgeous, huge moon. Uh, the farmers made that symbol, that saying up, that you could see the, the, it puts so much light down on the crops and the fields. Look it up, harvest moon. You'll see what it is. It's interesting. But Jupiter is that bright looking star right next to it on the right. Take a look up in the sky tonight. Get romantic. Do something you never did before. Okay? Because you don't live three times. You don't live two times. You only live once, so you might as well become an astron astronomer. <laughs> I need to sip with this coffee with this secret recipe inside. <laughs> yeah, this is a secret coffee. Okay. Let's see. My cheat sheet just fell down. Let's see what I want to talk about. Okay. How about uh, they have a job fair going on today down at the uh, Wachovia Center or whatever it's called now. Every time the bank changes, the name of the stadium changes. And you know they said that people over the age of 50 years old, if you lost your job or you're not working right now, a lot of those people think they might not ever get a job again. That's how serious the situation is in our country right now. So if you are working, even though you're getting screwed by the uh, big man and the company and the unions give it doing you crazy, you know, you do have a job, you are working. It's a shame, though, that the big people that run the companies know that, that how tough it is that at least you're working, and they use that to their advantage. Like, well, we'll take everything away from them, but they know at least they got a job. That's sad, but thank you that, you know, I'm thankful I have a job. I hope you all do, and let's stop that right now. We're going to come on with our joke today, our blonde joke of the day. I'm on a blonde joke kick right now. Two blonde, two blonde girls rented out a boat, and they went out fishing. So they went out on the boat, they rent it, and they're out there fishing, and they're catching one fish after another. This is the best day ever fishing, a boatload of fish. So the one blonde said to the other one, I got a great idea, man. Look, this is the best spot we ever found out here on the lake to go fishing. Let's mark the boat. So she took out some big eyeliner thing or something, and she put a big X on the bottom of the boat and to, to mark the spot where they were catching the fish. <laughs> well, the other blonde said, come on, are you stupid? What if we don't get the same boat next time? <laughs> oh, oh, those blondes, boy, they make good a lot of jokes. Sorry to the blondes I know out there. The real blondes, that is. Okay, here's our thought of the day. Don't worry about anything in life that's not going to worry about you. That's a great thing to think about. You can probably also pertain it to people, anyone or anything, but I like the anything, like money and a job and those kind of things. They don't worry about you. They're, they're like solid rock material things, but there are people in life, too, that you, I guess you can use that. Tell me what you think about that. Don't worry about anything that's not going to worry about you.
That's the, you should, if you stick with that, you're going to do pretty good. Uh, congratulations to the Phillies. They won nine in a row. They're now five games in front. Uh, I went down to the parade at Broaden, Oregon. Had a great time when they won the World Series. I hope to do that again. I hope some of you will join me in it. It's a, it's a lot of fun, man. It's a great afternoon. Uh, my friend of the day is a Philadelphia Philly, Shane Victorino. I want to thank him for being such a great person in the community and all. He spoke with a bunch of kids at high school, at a great level in high school today, about not texting when you're driving your car. A very dangerous thing that we all are guilty of every now and then. I have stopped it. I've made a point to not do that anymore the rest of my life. It's just too dangerous. I mean, you, you get yourself, you're trying to peek and text. Shane talked to this to the teenagers that are just getting their driver's license and all. Good man, Shane Victor. You know, keep up the good work on the field being in with the Phillies and the great work with you doing things like that. Thank you for being my friend, even though I never met you personally. <laughs> You're my friend on TV with the Phillies. Shane Victorino, thank you. Guys, go out and have a great day. Enjoy this weather. I hope I didn't go on too long. If there's anything I forgot, I'll add it to on tomorrow's show. I believe I covered everything. Uh, Michael Vick's going to be the starter for the Eagles, and I refuse to talk about that. They beat the Detroit Lions, who in the last two years are 2-30. and 30. Their record was 0-16 and 2-14, and, and they're saying what a, how great he looked. Duh, come on. All right? Anyway, I told you I'm not going to talk about it, and I did anyway. Have a great day. I love you guys.